Okay, tonight I'm going to be tying a fly that is an emerger pattern. I'm using a TMCO 2457 size 18 hook. It's a very small hook with hook sizes. The higher the number, the smaller the hook. So a 12 would be larger than an 18. I've got the hook in the vise already. I can check to make sure it's tight by flicking it with my fingernail. And it makes a ring sound. The fly that I'm going to tie is going to use a CDC feather. It's from Bass Pro Shops, and it's a natural dun color, which is kind of a taupe gray color. I'm going to start by starting my thread on the hook shank. The body of this feather, of this fly, is a pheasant tail. I've got three strands here. I'm going to give this a little bit of a tail just by holding and tying them in place. Once I get a couple of turns to hold it, I'll pull them a little bit to make sure that they're the length that I want. This fly is a wet fly. That means it's meant to go underwater or ride just, just below the surface. I'm going to take my thread forward some. I've tied in my pheasant tail. I've tied in and prepared the pheasant tail to make the body. And now I'll add the CTC. The CTC is going to be added to the top of the hook to act as a wing. CDC is a very good looking and durable material. The only problem with CDC versus natural feathers is that it doesn't have the waterproof, the waterproofing that a regular feather has. So when you fish with it, you may cast it one time and it works perfectly well, but when you cast it again, it gets wet and it stays wet. So you have to carry some materials to help you dry the feathers. There's a powder you can put on that makes it stay dry. But you have to dry it out very well and then continue to reapply 
material so that it'll continue to float. But as I say, it's a very tough material, so you can continue to use it indefinitely. Now I'm going to wrap my pheasant tail forward to create the body. I'll just make two or three turns, leaving room. leaving room to come in with my bright yellow dubbing. This is such a small fly. It won't take much dubbing to cover this remainder. This may be way too much, but we'll try it out. I can always take it off if it's too much. I've got some bowstring wax I'm going to add to the thread. Try not to bind the CDC down with this dubbing. Pull this back. Retighten my dubbing. I'm just going to take a couple of more turns here. And then take off the rest of this dubbing because I don't need it. Like I said, it's way too much. That's where I just come in with a few turns to create a small head and then I would finish. You can't use too much thread on this head because the eye is so small. So I'll just give one, two, three turns should be enough. I use my whip finishing tool to get that thread right where I want it. Right in there. I use nail polish to finish the head, but this head is so small that I can't use my brush. So I'm actually going to use and try to use a little bit of copper wire just to grab a little bit. A little bit 
the fingernail polish on the end. Maybe I'll bend it. Get a little more grabbing power. That's better. I actually got some on there this time. So this is even even as fine as this head is, or as fine as the the copper is. I still got it everywhere on that hook eye. So I've got a small piece of small a small piece of feather. It's a small hackle. I'm gonna take this and put it through the eye. me clear it of any paint that might be in there. Sort of go back and forth on there. And that should do the trick. I was given one of these flies when I was fishing below Norris Dam. There's a spot about a mile down below the dam where you can wade across the river. And there's some deep pools and there's some riffles. It's actually a place that I got stuck one time when the generators came on and I wasn't ready. And the next thing I knew, I was up to my knees in water, standing on a rock where my feet were dry maybe five minutes before. Anyway, I saw a man fishing, and I had, been, I had been fishing a spot and not catching anything. He comes in, and he starts fishing. He starts catching fish. And I asked him what he was using, and he gave me one of these. He actually gave me three different flies that he used in that area. And so I tied one of these shortly after that, and I thought I would tie one here. This is not one that I've done on my channel before. So here is a CDC emerger. Hope you enjoy it.